Hello, welcome back to the channel. You join me at the end of a day where there has been a lot of staring. Hmm. And a lot of swearing. And I've got a pile of metal in front of me that I don't entirely know how I'm gonna to get to fit. So let's get cracking then, standard stuff. Today's efforts have been focused on getting the rest of the boot, if not done, at least a little bit better planned than I currently have it. So um, if I show you what I've got up to in here, there are holes marked and drilled and they do line up nicely and everything does what I want it to do. Um, I've also put these in here to make sure I had clearance left to right because you can never really guarantee it. And I've marked out the area that's flat so I can start thinking about what size fuel tank I want to go in here. Um, and this bit at the back here is no longer attached because my plan is to make my own piece of metal going from there to there. But in keeping with what I've done on the front, if that makes any sense. So I'm making the bit of metal myself. I also need to make a bit of metal to go in here. And I have cut these pieces of metal here. I also tried to cut the pieces of metal here as well. Unfortunately, my guillotine decided that it wanted to play in an unfair manner. So, there was a lot of swearing at that. Um, okay, I'm gonna stare for a minute. That's the thing when you're staring. You never really know whether it's gonna come out as you imagine or not. Or even if you've actually cut the fiberglass in the right place because that's what I'm staring at. Hmm, nothing beats a good quality stare. I think the best way to start is to get the boot fixed into place. Okay, with that now fixed into place, just in the four corners, we can have a look at the underneath part. So the plan is, this piece here, I've cut it so that it just ever so slightly lips in to the, uh, the boot floor sides that we've got. If I can get it in there. The idea is to just push it forwards until it's kind of where you want it. I'll clamp it, I'll draw a line along there, and then I'm gonna cut round it, and then I can tack it in and that this back bit's a real easy one it just sort of it's gonna sit up there like that ta-da one of them done already this one that's less simple while I've just slid this piece in this I'm relatively happy with this I'll be honest I could mark that cut it stick it in mm, I'll double check things but yeah that's pretty much where it's gonna go really quite happy with that that can pretty much stay there if it would hold itself up um, the complicated bit is this end, because I've got a slope down, a slope along, and a slope back that are not the same as the slope I've got along here. And the angle that it travels on this boot floor doesn't quite meet up with the floor here. I mean, I could probably bend it up and make it do so, but the natural line that it wants to follow is just slightly below the boot floor line there. So, I'm going to probably be laying under here for a bit, staring at these shapes, wondering how I'm going to make it work. The bottom bit's not going to be too hard. I can probably push that boot lid to where I want it to go and make it just meet there. That will be nice. Maybe I could do it in three pieces. Hmm, with just a little nugget up in the bottom there. Or just spot it onto the bottom of the, the seat. This is a tricky one. It's a tricky shape to make. Let's start measuring stuff. So while my brain's been tinkering away on what shape to make at the back, it dawned to me I could probably just get the simple job done first. So what I've done is vaguely lined up this back edge where I want it, and I have marked along where the holes are gonna go. Along, yay. Um, and I've got the back edge kind of just sitting about where I want it. I've also marked all of the uh, holes on the inside. So what I think I'm going to do is just 
drill these quickly. Can I drill them? I've got these holes here. I might fit my self-tapping screws into these just to keep everything where I want it first. Yeah, let's do that. Now, I don't know if you've seen this kind of drill bit before, but this is a cobalt drill bit, and it's kind of got a nice shaped end on it so that it doesn't wander. Can't promise it's not gonna wander, but it shouldn't. So I'm gonna drill the first one out, and we'll see how that rolls, shall we? Well, that was fairly painless. Let's do a couple more. Right, now we know where it's going to go, that's kind of that bit done. I've got to get back to the bit I don't want to do. That's starting to feel like a bit of a solid boot now, that. That's more than a bit of wobble in the middle, which will be sorted out. Hmm, I'm liking that. Okay, I'm delaying the inevitable. I'm gonna have to start cutting some metal for that end. Now you can see I've made loads and loads of marks on here. I've marked the midpoint. I've also um, written down a number down that far end, 480. Um, that was just to remind me that between these two lines here, was 480 mil. So I think if I was to go, let's say we go a little bit longer. So that's that's 480 from there to there. Let's see what it is between there and there on the car. And that might give us an angle to work to. It's never easy working under a mini, is it? Oh. So from about that point there to about this point here, we've got 580. That works out quite nicely. So I've got to do a between there and there, I've got to gain 100 mil. So if I was to cut a strip, how long is it going to have to be? Uh, let's use the correct end of the ruler. Even if it was just to touch that end, we, our gap is 125 mil. So we're going to want a little bit of overlap there and a bit of overlap here. So we did 180 mil. That could work. Let's try that. So if I'm going to mark this out on here, obviously I've got, that's a straight edge. I've got me, uh, me set square on there. I can set my ruler up. I can mark down at me 580 mil. I could even go a little bit further. There's actually a little dink in the metal here. So I could go out to that. So I've got a little bit of leeway either side. Um, and then I can find the midpoint. That's probably the next point. Get to there, cut there, or at least measure where that is, cut it. Um, find the midpoint, mark it, and then for that end I want me 580 from the centre, or 580, but centre it up on the centre line, and I want to do the same with the 480 this end. And then I can start drawing between them, and I might even be able to put some bends on either end, just to sort of, just to sort of help things along. Hmm, let's see how that rolls. There was a significant amount of staring then, but I think it's worked out quite all right. I'll double check my measurements in a second, but I think I've got the bottom piece ready to cut out. So 
as you can see I've got my midline here um, I've got my outer line there this is going to get just cut all the way across so that's thin it out of the way I've also got enough space here to have a whole other try but there's my 480 wide the center was 240 here's my 580 wide my center was 290 um, and I've got 30 mil overlap for each end to screw into because I figured well based upon what I've measured here 30 mil overlap should be more than enough to get a uh, M8 bolt through the middle of with a bit of uh, room either side so yeah I think that might just work okay it's nearly nine o'clock in the evening I probably shouldn't be getting the angle grinder out and cutting this and I don't trust the guillotine to cut a straight line at the moment without having an extra pair of hands to help me kind of manage it. So we'll take a little break here and I will reconvene when there is a convenient moment. Okay, a couple of days have come and gone. Everything's back out again. Let's get cutting. Okay, as you can see, we've got one screw holding this edge here, it is curved up. We have a, a curve going on here, flat across the bottom, curve along here. It's held in with those three there, but the other holes do line up. And under here, there's the three, the other two holes are there, got the screws, and I've attached it, as you saw, along there. And actually, aside from the fiberglass being a little flexible, because it is, it's actually held in there nicely. This shapes sitting where it should do so now kind of all I've got to do is make a funny shaped square and experience is telling me that we do that with two triangles we'll mark it out on tape and we'll do two triangle shapes and then we'll try and make them fit can a little couple of tacks couple of bends that piece fits there this piece will quite nicely bend up into there and I've got to sort out a curve in this corner here 
not the end of the world. So, yeah, albeit not the prettiest approach, an effective one. Okay, I think you'll admit, yeah, I know why that isn't quite right in the middle here. Obviously I can push that down from the inside once these corners are tacked. But you get a good idea for how that piece of metal is gonna look. If we look on the inside, it would be something like that, kind of following the, uh, the curvature, as he pushes it back out, following the curvature of the boot. So I'm gonna push it up into these corners. It's gonna take a little bit of uh, forming while it's on there, but yeah, really happy with that. You can see what I'm getting at there and how it's gonna look. So before I break the welder out, um, it's probably good if I make the other side, isn't it? Editing magic. Ta-da! He says as they fall out. So yeah, it's in, both sides are cut. Let's prep for weld. Okay, let's have a look at that. It's actually gone together really, really nicely. That's this side. I haven't done the other side yet, but that will meet up nicely with this edge along here. I'm just not gonna do this yet. I think it might be an idea to get this sort of tacked as it is, make sure the shapes all work as they should. And then um, I might take this either out to weld it or I'm gonna take the firewood lights out to it because I damn near set fire to it here, which was uh, less than ideal. Um, I might even, yeah, so put a couple of more of these self tapping screws through here just to hold the fiberglass to it and hold it to the fiberglass. But yeah, really quite happy with it. So there's obviously a little bit of a tweak to do on that edge there, but not the end of the world when it's 0.8 thick, it's, it bends by hand. So really, really pleased with that. Let's get the other side done. Well, that one decided to fight me a little bit more, but it too is in place. So we've got that one over that side, and we have this one over this side. Obviously that top's dropped down that I've moved stuff around, but yeah, it'll get welded to that edge eventually. So yeah, really pleased with that. And as for the inside, yeah, it looks like a big gap, but honestly it's no worse than anything else I've had to weld before. So hey, nice tight claps over this side. And yeah, really pleased with uh, how that's going to end up looking. Um, there might be a little bit of uh, trimming on this edge here. It looks like the fibre loss actually le loops around. So I might end up cutting this edge back just a little bit, but it could, so it might just uh, be worth, I want to put two more bolt fixings into here. So that might just pull everything nicely together. And it's going to have a, uh, a seal going around it anyway, get a neoprene kind of seal going all around it anyway so I think the last thing to do today is going to be I'm not going to tack that in but I think I'm going to cut that edge just there Well, I have to say that fought me every inch of the way. Um, I was going to use the tin snips and just tin it by hand, but um, yeah, nah, that didn't happen. Um, so I uh, used the, the angry rotating abrasive disc and we've gone vaguely to where we need to go. I'm not going to go exactly because I can basically finesse that um, as I go down. I'm going to draw the line on again once I've got this sort of like a bit more tight into where it needs to be. 
and I can work up to the back edge of the line. Um, be honest, even if I put the bumper on there now, you wouldn't see that overlip there. So I could leave it, but when the others finish like this, sort of nice and close, I can't. So I'm going to have to do something about it. But that's, you know, that's where we're at for now. So yes, we have boot panels in all the way along and at the back here. And we'll look at it from underneath. And we've got all the way around. And this side and all the way along there. Obviously this bit has been pulled down. The screw kind of went through the edge of it. Anyway, yes, really quite pleased with that. So um, yeah, I think this is a, a good point to pause. Next time, possibly the final welding in the boot. Dear Lord. Yeah, yeah, next time the final welding in the boot. And um, yeah, I'll see you there.